Hello, it's Mark Matosh here from Markham 3D, and today we're going to be creating a space scene texture environment map, however you want to call it. So first off, I've got a few spaceships here. Um, I've got the one sun lamp here that's producing this light. I'm currently in cycles, but this should this will work in Eevee as well. So at the moment, all I've got in the world, I've got the world output background. So first thing I'm going to add is add in a noise texture. And if we plug this in, you can see that we've got colors. So if I look around, funky colors. Let us now add in a color ramp. And so now we've converted it to kind of black and white. I'm going to scale this up to 5,000. And now you can see we've got a lot of individual little dots. Now, if I move the scale over the slider over, we can see that we've made black the more predominant, but we go from a lot of from black, gray, white. We want to minimize these grays. So let's bring our white across. There we go. And now we're just going to play with this how we like it. That seems like a nice amount of stars. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press F12 and let's have a quick render of it. Cool, so that's very nice. It looks very, you know, works well already. However, let's take it to the next step further. So I'm gonna to go to slot three by pressing keyboard three. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add in another background. So let's just bring that down here. And I'm just gonna plug that in here. I'm gonna create another color ramp and we'll plug that one into the background again. And I'm going to get another noise texture and let's bring this one down here. Now, this one here is not going to be so, um, you know, 5,000. I don't want them exactly little dots. So I'm going to put this about 200. And so you can see now we've got bigger dots and they're this fairly sparsely spread out. Uh, maybe we might even drop it to 150. Uh, they're a bit too big. So let's go back to 250. And what we'll do is rather than having a white color, I'm gonna turn this into a dark yellow-ish. Um, let's maybe increase the number, nah, too much. So if we look around, we can see that we've kind of got these uh, almost sun type. So from here, I'm gonna do Shift A, search, and I'm just gonna do add shader. And let's add one here, add one here. And so now we've got kind of like these little suns. I might actually brighten this up a little bit. And let's bring this right across. Let's go the other way. So now we're just gonna play with the noise texture because those are a bit too big. So I'm gonna bump this up to maybe a thousand. Light. And let's cut down the number that we see by moving this across. Okay, here we go. There we go. So we go now a few yellow speckles. Now I'm going to press F12. Let's have a quick render of it. All right. So now I'm just going to flick between two and three. So we can see we just got a few brighter areas. It's only a few dots. I mean, it's very minor, but it still just adds that result. I'm going to go to layer four now. And I'm going to do the same thing here. And let's bring in another background, another color ramp, and another noise texture. From here, we'll go down here, plug this one in. Let us go straight into the world output so we can see what we're doing. Now this time, rather than having yellow, I'm gonna go bright blue. Now, if I leave it like this, it, the yellow will be over the top of the blue. So let's just change that. I'm just going to change it to, let's say 900. And that kind of resets the seed there. Let's add another shader. There we go. And now we've got these blue dots. So I'm going to press F12 again to render. And so now let's go back through it to our first render, our second render, and our third render. Cool, we've added a few dots, whoop de doo So let's now do one more thing. This time I'm gonna do Shift A, add a magic texture. Oops, from here I'm going to Shift 
a add in another color ramp and let's plug that into here let's get another background texture put the color into here and we'll just plug it into world output so from here I'm going to change the scale to maybe one ish so it make it really big bring this across let's change this to B spline just to give that um, ease and I'm going to move this across now however I'm not going to keep it white I'm going to take it so we can go either a very dark blue and it kind of gives you uh, that seems a little bit intense let's bring that back across all the way across make it even a little bit more darker um, I mean we could even go you know type of nebula whatever let's just keep it as a dark blue um, but I mean that's how you change the color of this so if we now go to zero let's go back onto our camera we've got this faint blue around here I'm going to do control copy control V once again add shader add this and now let's press F12 so let's now have a look so we've gone from our first render to having yellow suns and then we've got our blue and our nebula all in one and if you want let's just move the camera along the timeline a little bit there we go let's do an f12 see what this looks like there's a lot more of a nebula there on the left and there we have it that's a um, very quick way of creating a very own custom spacing